So welcome to everybody for joining our Gathering Heritage Project. Um, this week we're going to talk about Bridge Street and let me introduce Larry and Harry. Yes, thank you very much indeed, Jason. And, and yeah, my end of the town, Larry would know an awful lot more about this end of the town because he comes from that end of the town. I don't think when we were growing up at all, we ever went down near uh, Bridge Street. It, it was a very local thing, wasn't it, Larry? It was a wonderful place to grow up in. Uh, there was a lot of amenities very close at hand. You had the river, which on a good Sunday, uh, the banks would be thronged with people uh, picnicking and swimming. And you also had the cinema near your hand, schools near your hand, but also you had the pubs near your hand, as you can see, uh, Wiseman's and McGuill's. And, uh, yeah, Wiseman's uh, is, uh, uh, McGuill's of course is, is, is it's still there, but Wise, Wiseman's is something that uh, w was a great landmark there too, wasn't it? Wiseman's was a wonderful landmark. Uh, you had musical entertainment, usually on a Saturday night, uh, Georgie McEnany provided the music, a wonderful entertainer, and yeah. McGuill's had entertainment in their own uh, environment. Okay. Across the Larry, road. Larry, <laughs> what year was this taken? What year was this photograph taken? I think that was taken in 66. Yeah, because it, I think it's a bit later on, on. You're right, it's around the 60s because the two things that catch my eye is there's a double diamond uh, motif here, which I yeah. know was brewed under license up in McArdle's in the late 50s and early 60s and the Harp Lager, Lager logo as well. So that kind of dates it for me. Yeah, it would have been 66. I'm sure it was the Easter Parade or the... Yeah. What, 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 there's another sign. We are great for signs in the, on this. Do you see the blue one uh, at Wiseman's, uh, Jason? That under the there. harp one. Yeah. Uh, yes, what is that? Can you read that? I can't make it out. I'm going to try and zoom yeah. in. I can't make that out. But any of the ones that we've no. seen, uh, Harry, that are sticking out for buildings are usually cigarette signs. Yes, and Harp, of course, or yeah. which is there. So that's course, an so. Afton one. Yeah. You recognize the Afton one, but yeah. I just can't tell what that one is there. Yeah. Now, across the, the, the other side, um, the, the, that, that's up by the, the kids are walking there round now where um, the Undertaker's is now kills, the, uh, well, isn't it? That is the Delisal Boys Band. Uh, Oh, is that what it is? They're very small. I always thought they were, they were bigger than that. Well, yeah, that's a lovely photograph. At the time, they were small. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Larry, what is the house on the right hand side behind uh, McGuill's there? Yeah. There's a shop just behind McGuill's, there's a shop called Travers, and there was a shoe shop. Oh, we shoe shop is right, yes, yeah. And behind that again, you had the gas works where you can just see the top of the black, it's called coke, where they took the gas out of the coal. Oh, I, I see it here, yeah, I see it, Larry, it's just there. And, yeah, and I'm not saying we got some of it, you know, at night. When it was <laughs> but that was the cheap man, that was the poor people's coal, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, was, they took the gas out of it and give it to all the people down the, down the avenue. If you cope nowadays, it'd be different. All right. <laughs> and over this side of the road, Larry, there's a couple of shops here. What are they? Yeah, you had, you had High Shop. And they, they were actually, uh, what do you call it? They're done with the traffic. They had, a, when you're going to the north, the clearance, customs clearance. All right. And uh, they had the shop there. And also... Uh, you had the gas works would have been on the left hand side just round the corner from yeah, well, that's the big building up at the top there Larry yeah, yeah there. but also on the right hand side behind the coke and that there was these big gas cylinders that went up and down yeah when, when they were releasing the gas or whatever it was fascinating to see them oh um, I didn't mean I didn't I didn't realise they moved. They moved, uh, Larry, yeah? Went up and down, yeah. 
Okay. No, hold on. I, 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 I'm a wee bit confused here because I'm sure our, our viewers would be. You're standing on the big bridge now looking up there. Yes, I mean, right there, Larry. And I always thought everything got to do with the gas works was on the left there. No. No, no. there was tanks on the right. I never knew now. that. Yeah. No. no. I remember <laughs> tanks on the right because I remember when there's apartments here now, Larry, am I right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when they were being demolished. I remember that was one of the last things to go was the, yeah. the tanks on the right. And the big house behind McGuill's, I, I think it was belonging to whoever was running the gas house. I think it was a fella called Shannon lived in it. Okay. And then O'Donnell after him, whoever was running the... Running the show. Yeah. Okay. Well, but uh, Larry, can I come, I come in here as somebody that uh, only knows Bridge Street when I grew up? Um, now, go up by from Wiseman's, Jason, back up to the wee shops there. Yeah. From the, the far side of the road. Yeah. yeah. Go up there now. Now, are you saying to me that the gas works is not on that side of the road? It is on that side, yes. It is on that side. It's on both sides of the road. Oh, both sides. Sorry. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Of course, when you think of the gas works, the first thing that comes into your mind is um, O'Hagan. Yeah. Uh, and uh, was there Larry O'Hagan as well? He used, to go, he used to go around collecting the money out of the meters. Yes, he was a gas man. <laughs> yeah, he was a gas man, he used to say. Yeah, yeah, he would run with a wee barrow. He wouldn't do it now. And he'd go in and he'd empty all the coins from the meters uh, into it and then take it back down to them. <laughs> Is there another from another view there? Uh, yeah, we'll move on from this photo, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, this this is that, what was that? Was that a grocery shop, Larry? That was a grocery shop, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And who, who was the Thomas Rogers? Was he a local? I'm not sure on that. There, it just it was a grocery shop, and uh, there was a few of them in Bridge Street. There was quite a few of them actually. There was McCree mm. as well, and uh, the people were well served from all over the town. Right? Yeah, the, Larry. This this and reminds it, me of the kind of uh, when you go over to the west of Ireland. There's still a few pubs and shops that are like this, this type of old style, mm. you know, maybe. A, and it looks lovely yeah. now, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. obviously they lived above it, Larry. I'm sure they did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what they're talking about now, that the people should be uh, living above the flats. Uh, Jason, can you move down now to uh, somewhere around the Cynicus Church to get the view from... Down, um, down there. Let's see what the next one is. Yes. So, so it, even yeah, it goes. That's Gr Paddy Brunel's, of course. Um, a brilliant showman, a, a repairer, a class act, wasn't he, Larry? Absolutely. Yeah. And he, there was a little man in the window. Uh, tapping at right. the window. Yeah. With a stick. Yeah. I yeah. remember that. Yeah. No, with a wee hammer. Was As if hammer? he's putting the nails into the into ah, the shoes. Right. Yes, yeah. Now, on top of that, Paddy Grinnell, he was an absolute gentleman. He had a lovely, lovely, and a lovely family. But he made Irish dancing shoes in it wow. as well. Right. You know, and uh, great, very, very well thought of uh, in the town and around uh, down there. Again, the shop is very similar to the one we were looking at a minute ago. Yeah, I... I at the front. I remember I, I would be coming out because we, we lived down in Cox's for a while. So I'd be coming up this way. And I remember when I passed that shop with my mom and dad, there was a smell of shoe leather out of it. That's what, it stays in my mind. It was a very fresh smell of shoe leather. Okay, but, right. Well, back, Jason, that sign over Grinnell's, is that yeah. spelled wrong or what, what is it? It should be G-R-A. That's not A. Uh, I think it could be just the way the sun hit the sign, Harry. That's an A. That's an A, but I think it's just the way. Uh, it, it wasn't an A in the friary. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> well, wait, let's move down the street then. Let's move on yes. down this way. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, you had uh, a pub there on your left-hand side. Um, Paddy McAllister had a pub. Is that is here, that, Larry? The Brown Building. Oh, that one there. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's still there, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. still there, uh, new owners. Yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. And have you any yeah, idea what this was? Uh, not sure. It could have been a butcher's. Well, what's the sign above it again? I'm a great man for signs. No, it's... Uh, I... 
slightly it's hard to it's hard to judge, hard yeah, to judge that. two hours and an INS yeah uh, but I can't, I can't tell. Yeah. It looks like a grocery shop. It doesn't look like a pub, though. It looks like a grocery shop. No, it probably was a grocery shop. Yeah. Or, and then you had yeah. a, another pub beside McCallum's called Dean's. Yeah. Paddy Dean's, yeah. Right. A very small one, isn't it, Larry? Yeah. Well, it was a man's pub generally, and uh, there was no television or no... That's the way it was. No uh, women no. allowed, was there, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> A man's man's pub. <laughs> they never said there was no women allowed. <laughs> well, you said it was a man's pub. He said, you're, oh, come on, you're a coward now, Larry, well, come on. Larry, was, there a li- was one of these shops a little sweet shop? Because I do yes. I remember coming around that corner. It was, yeah, there, it, it wasn't it, Larry. It was, it, it was, um, and I know there were lovely people that were there for years and years. Who was it, Larry? O'Hagan's. Yes. Oh. Another O'Hagan. It'd have oh, to be good really, people. Yeah, and they were there uh, like up until I don't know the recent re- past, wasn't it? Yeah, still there. Yeah. No, there was a butcher's there uh, too, wasn't there at one time, Larry, at the corner? Where well, there's a chip sure shop in it now. Corner. There was one the far side of the road. There was uh, different ones. There was Murray's and, and Shaw's and Shaw's. It's funny, Harry. That looks like a Chinese to me. Right now, now what do you think? I don't. I, don't I, I always thought there was a that was Murray's shop there, wasn't it, Larry? Mm. The no, butchers no, at Murray the corner. Side, maybe it was. I, I thought they were the far side of the road. No, no. You I think, think that was side. Murray. Okay. Yeah. One, yeah. Something else that catches my eyes, guys, is the chimneys. See the chimneys, the massive big chimneys on top of the, the buildings. Obviously, yeah. that was. That was the only way of heating that whole massive building, but it just catches your eye. You didn't have to go far for the coke. <laughs> no, <laughs> you didn't. just stand around the corner. Okay. Let's go to the far side of the road over by the church. Right, by St. Nicholas' can, Church. Can, well, that's, yeah. that's a similar... Now, if you can, you know, go to, go to the... past the church there, you, the, the Waverley, that sign that we saw uh, at the beginning, Jason. Okay, so... This one? Okay. You want yes, to? that's it. Now, Larry, from somebody that that was, as I say, was d- d- never stood in in uh, as a as a young fella in uh, in Bridge Street, people got it very confused where Bridge Street started. Now, you tell us officially on both sides of the road where did it start? We know, I presume, the church, Saint Nicholas's Church, but the far side, just on the corner. The, the shop on the corner is where the ferry for that was the very yeah. that's where it started. And St. Yeah. Nicholas's church was probably in Linden Hall Street and Bridge Street, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So, this was so, what, what was Waverley's? It looked, I, I don't recognize what that shop was. Waverley's was a, a general purpose shop, it was run by a woman called Nancy Carroll, okay, and yeah. But Larry, come on, it was before that, and even up in Hill Street, she was famous. She was famous, yeah. She's yeah, but well, another person who had it before that, am I right saying that newspaper woman? No, uh, I don't remember a news. Uh, that Annie, was, Morg- Annie Morgans? Oh, that's further down the street. Further down the street? Yeah. I always thought she was up at the corner there. Oh, it, right. You see it, if we go down to the end, you'll see a building there. You'll see. There's a building there with a right. Oh line. yes, yeah. yeah, the far side of the pole. Where, where you have them? Yeah, yeah. that was on <sighs> But just before we move on from this one, so th- this was was this one shop or two shops? No, this was a a pub uh, right? called Carol's Lounge, but it was always called Carol's Lunge. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was the in place in town at the time. If you, if you weren't there on a Saturday night. You, you were never out. It was, it was all came from all walks of life. But Larry, so why, where, how do you get into the, yeah, uh, it into looks like it a shop. with the bar? The we sign uh, there with the bar. The shop at the front in the early days, and then it progressed into a, right. Oh, okay. 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 And then yeah, move down. Sure. There's a few wee shops here are yeah. just absolutely lovely. No, that's Ford's the chemist. That's Ford's chemist. Yeah. Very well known people in the town. Yeah. 
And, and what is the little black shop there, Larry? That was a shop uh, by Phillips. Yeah, Maisie Phillips had that there. I think she's still living there. And what did it, what did she do? Um, not sure. There's, I think they sold pipes and that type. Well, it's a very right. tiny wee shop, isn't it? Yeah. Well, have you noticed, yeah. the, noticed the pram outside? What's that called? A cross? Oh, people will be shouting at the screen there. There's a certain, For what? The pram? Calling the pram something? Yeah, there's a certain type of pram. Oh, Jason, come pram. on, come on. <laughs> no, no. It's a something cross. People will be screaming at it now. Um, well, <laughs> beside the pram, you see a white building. That was owned by yeah. John McLaughlin. He was the chairman. Ice cream of man. Club. Yeah. Chairman of, former chairman of the football club. Yeah, they owned that himself and his wife. Rhonda. And what was it? It was an ice cream parlor. And Not very uh, big, Larry. Very small. But he was the big man with ice cream uh, HP in the town, wasn't he? He was, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but all was treated everyone very, very well. And there was, yeah. another, there was another shop there beside it there called... Uh, that one? Yeah. I think it was a woman called Carol had that as well. I don't think they were connected to the others. Okay. Yeah. And then further down, they had another ice cream parlor, she, Sean Keenan. Oh, right. It was so full of ice cream. Yeah. But can we, I'd love to just, uh, what, the talk about um, Annie Morgan for a minute, because she was well known everywhere in the town, wasn't she? Well, we knew her just getting the papers. And yeah, yeah. And we, we were always told, Larry, that if you ever want a paper, never go into Annie Morgan's shop and start reading it or reading a magazine or you'd be put out. Well, I am sure you would. <laughs> <laughs> but she was a great character, wasn't she? She was. And there was a post office in it as well. Oh, I didn't oh, know that. No. So listen, guys, uh, we, we've only time for about one or two more photographs. So we move on. Yeah. Okay. It's incredible. It's incredible. This was a little town within a town, wasn't it? Then, you know, in Bridge Street. That one there, Jason, is the gas cylinder we were talking about. Yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. Rising up and down. Yeah. Imagine living behind that. Was, well, it, not, was it noisy, Larry? No. No. It was not even very healthy, would it? Yes. Uh, look at, at the very bottom. Look at before we just forget. PJ Carl sign and Joe Marins. That Joe sign, Marins. that sign is still there. Yes, well, they're still there. Uh, the, Sister Leone, who uh, lives around here in Oaklands, beside us now, she was one of the Marins. Kevin Marin, of course, who wrote for the Sunday World in mm. his heyday. He was a brilliant journalist, and um, and all them wee houses were lived in there. Yeah. All right, we we'll keep oh. moving. We we'll take one more photograph, guys. All right. You could talk about all of these little, um, now that's a good view there of uh, some of them there from, um, what's the green, what's McGorty's? McGorty's now, yeah. yeah, McGorty's, of course, uh, before you talk, start talking about Larry, they originally, or uh, not originally, but they lived in Hill Street behind the, got the um, what do you call the, 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 I can't think of it, on the, on the, on the bridge, the bed and breakfast place. Uh, it's gone out of my head, but uh, they lived behind the, the uh, bed and breakfast place in Hill Street Bridge there, and that's where the whole the family uh, the family the Fulci guest house of course uh, that's where the family lived. But that's they were a very big chemist down there, weren't they? They were, yeah. There were I think there was three chemists uh, in Bridge Street. A lot of sick people in uh, the down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th this was a pub, I presume, Thomas? Well, that's Thomas Rogers, the grocery shop. Oh, gro grocery oh that's the one we were talking about. Right. And then, that, th this looks like a Michael Lynch, but it couldn't be. Uh, it could be Lavelle. Oh, it looks no, like an he auctioneer's. He, 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 he wasn't there that. at that time, was he? It does Sorry. look like an auctioneer's. Yeah. yeah. I I'd say you're uh, right, Larry. Uh, that that does look like an auctioneer's. Yeah. And then this pub was this a pub? Uh, there was a, a pub there as well, McKeown's. Okay. That was a big pub or two, wasn't it? Yeah. Big That's enough. Big. And yeah. there was another pub beside it. It changed hands a few times. It was McVerry's when we were growing up. Right. That and one. then it became the, the Fedrack. 
That there is that what that says? What the one on the right of that? Yeah, yes, here. Right, yeah, okay. those McBerries. And when we were growing up there, when you went to mass, mm. uh, a lot of people stood just outside that pub during <laughs> mass. Right. <laughs> and uh, when the offer three had come, some of them would disappear. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so we're going to wrap it up now, guys. Okay, thank you. Yeah, very interesting, no? And that was a tour down Bridge Street by Jason, Harry, and Larry.